Hello, my name is Vernon and today we're going to make a complete backup of the DX200 controller. All the generation units have a different procedure to make a complete backup, so if you're using an older controller, please either call us or view the video which corresponds to your unit. Uh, we start out with uh, inserting the media on the rear of the programming window. USB slot in this particular case, then we want to make certain the unit is in teach, and we transition the security mode to management. You want to always go to management because some files are uh, omitted if you're not at the management security level. Next, we are going to select the external memory icon. We're going to check to make sure that the device is on a USB pendant. And I will show you that you have multiple possibilities, but USB pendant is where we put our memory stick, and that's what we are going to use. Then, uh, going back to unit we're going to press save which brings up all the categories and I normally like to go through the list in order start out with the jobs and typically you'll have more jobs in this and I will like to just do edit select all the machine will select the jobs that you would like I'll press enter and then confirm that I wish to save it will transition through those files and I will index to the next category. And once again, we'll edit, select all. Here you will notice that it does not select the user coordinate system or user coordinate frame uh, if your application does not have any custom user coordinate frames. It will not allow you to see an unused coordinate frame file. Yes. The next category parameters. Next category, system data, select all, and here once again you'll see one omitted file if you have multiple mechanical units and property stations uh, where you have a calibrated robot to an external axis or so uh, that robot calibration data file will not be omitted. Finally, last but not least, is the CMOS.bin file. Some people would argue that this does encompass all of the um, previous files saved and additional information. 
um, basically it is a copy of the application memory of this controller, but I want to implore you, you will need to do both. There are circumstances where that uh, CMOS bin file will fail you at the most inopportune moment. So you always have both. Ah, that final beep is an indication that the process is complete. At this point, you may remove your media, return to full production, and uh, be confident that during the case of a catastrophe, you do have a full backup and can restore your system to production at a fairly small period of time. This concludes making a complete backup on the DX200 controller. Thank you.